you guys have to make a video together. Right. I honestly feel like if I stepped in her premises, that bitch would like right hook my face. No. Not that bitch, like she's a bitch. I mean, like that female. <laughs> You're like, scared. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Do I want to smack Tana Mojo in the face? Good morning, banana babes. Just woke up and I'm on the computer trying to find some blinds for this area here. Remember that we did have the blinds up, the bamboo kind of look, but it just didn't cover anything up. You know, all the light was coming in. It was just kind of this aesthetic thing, which, yeah, looked cool, but not practical. So I'm trying to find some that actually make the space black, you know, like black out the light. So I can wake up when I want to wake up, not when the sun wants to wake me up, even though it is really beautiful to wake up early with the sun. And that is always a goal. But also at night, so the room is dark. It's just really healthy. It's good for your hormones, good for your rest. And like, that's why I wear this face mask, you know, to make it totally black. And it does work, but I'd rather not wear something on my face. Also, drinking some sugar cane juice, as you can see here. And about to get the day started. Also covering up my nipples. And what else am I doing today? I'm going to go to the gym. I've got this seven day pass that is running out very soon. But I'm going to continue going because I just, I love the gym. I love the results I'm getting. And, you know, it just reminds me of when I used to be a trainer for years. So good times there. And I've got to get them gains, you know, got to get them gains. And also going to get some like ceramic pots and stuff like that and do a few things. So come along with me. Let's go. Okay, so I haven't got to the gym yet. I decided to do some sun baking because it's been kind of raining a little bit last couple of days and the sun came out. So I'm like, I've got to get out in that. So, so beautiful. Jog, not exactly walk, something in between. Quickly. How did you know she didn't have underwear there? Well, I could see, you know, 
Yeah. yeah. So you see, I, I can see too much already. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're, we're gonna go and um, we're gonna go and look at more blinds because, as I said before, that blind situation isn't working, and um, also pots and stuff. And it's fun hanging out with Mum. We haven't done this for a long time, eh? No. We're back to hanging out. Not for months and months. Yeah, we're catching up on a, a lot of time. Not hanging out. Getting rid of some clothing. Staff here love bananas. Look at this little baby. Seriously, I want to start growing my own lettuce. Yeah. My new babies. Oh yes. Ooh. These are all going inside. Pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. It's a teeth job. Hang on. It's not a teeth job. All you have to do is grab this. Cool. So we got like another it's it's not a selfie stick, it's like like a tripod. For your phone? Yeah, we got it. Trying to put some dreams on this. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. We are heroes tonight. It's 4.05, so I'm getting into the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, so we have some green pots in here. I'm just trying them out. I kind of don't think that they go, really. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Green pots or no? I was thinking more like gold pots. Ah, the struggle. The struggle is real. So this is the second try at the blind. Venetian blinds, timber Venetian blinds. Look at that beautiful view out there. Hey guys, check this out. Look at my room. But look at this. This is really cool. This is my snake trod, tripody thing that attaches wherever you want it. This is a really strong little clip that it comes with and you put your camera in here and then you film. So I'm just gonna leave it there all the time so I can just make it more efficient for vlogging for you guys. So, you know, I can just put out more vlogs than ever and it'll be used for when like I'm filming in this direction. I'll just have it there all the time and I'll just take the camera and put it in different locations. I'm gonna have one there. I'm also gonna have one Look how beautiful it looks, seriously. Heaven, hey. Um, over there, you can see there's one there. It's from when I'm outside doing outdoor stuff. And there's also gonna be one in the kitchen over the table. So when I'm preparing food for you amazing banana babes, it's just gonna be there all the time and I can just take the camera and put it in those different locations. So it's a good investment and it's just gonna make vlogging a whole lot easier and more fun and everything. So, yeah. Like, you guys have to make a video together. Right. I honestly feel like if I stepped in her premises, that bitch would like right hook my face. No. Not that bitch, like she's a bitch. I mean like that female. <laughs> like <You're> scared, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Do I want to smack Tana Mojo in the face? Do I want to right hook Tana Mojo? Girl, no. Of course I don't want to smack you in the face. And I never have. It's never been about that at all. Um, you know, the only reason that I was pissed off is because you lied about me in your videos and you said that I went up to like, you know, teenagers and said they were fat and disgusting and that of course never happened. So, you know, when you get that spread around on the internet and there was other lies as well, you, you want to, you know, make things right. Like and about, you know, the title of the video that I was saying, plus size modeling is disgusting, all those things. They're inaccurate, you know, it's like a, just a blatant misrepresentation. So of course I'm going to want to rebuttal that. I'm going to make a video saying, hey, that's bullshit. And yeah, inject some passion into it for sure. And yeah, there's a little bit of trolling go going on, a little bit of back and forth. And that's what happens on YouTube for sure. But it was really good. It was good for both our channels. It made Tana more relevant, that's for sure. Because a lot of people, including Shane, hadn't heard of her. So I'm glad that I can help her in that way. And girl, I am so, I am so happy to do a video. Definitely come on down to the Gold Coast. It's only like an 11 hour flight from where you are. You're in Las Vegas and you get to LA and yeah, it won't take you long at all. You can, you can stay downstairs for sure. We have room downstairs. We can do a video and it would be really controversial, I'm sure. It would be fun. And no, I don't want to have a punch up with you. <laughs> That's crazy for you to think that. I mean, I don't give a shit if people critique me. That was never the problem with Tana. 
I don't mind at all. People do it all the time. But when you take it to the level of slandering, defaming and lying about someone, of course, I'm going to have an issue with that. Everybody's going to have an issue about bullshit being put out about them and them being misrepresented. That's just natural. So that is a clear you know, difference between speaking factually and just speaking bullshit. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify that because that's ridiculous. Okay, so the lesson of the day, my little banana babes. Let's check it out. We have all these cards. I'm not cheating. I promise I'm not cheating. Okay, let's just get in here. Um, cards everywhere. Ugh. Here it is. Okay, there it is. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want, okay? Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everybody has the right to ask you for what they want and you have the right to say yes or no. This is definitely very true. This is very powerful because a lot of people hold back and they don't ask for what they want because they're scared of being judged, they're scared of being rejected. Just fucking go for it, okay? Just like have a go. It's better off having a go, right? Better off having a go and being rejected and just knowing where you stand rather than being like, oh, I don't want to ask. Oh my God, what's going to happen? Like, oh shit, you know, they might say no to me. Who fucking cares if they say no? Who fucking cares? You know, it's not a big deal unless you make it a big deal in your head. At least you know then. Because imagine if you don't ask, imagine all the potential amazing experiences that you won't experience just because you didn't go there. I mean, you could apply this to a relationship. And, you know, imagine you like someone, but you're too scared. You know, you don't want to be rejected. You don't want to go and ask that person out. You don't want to show interest in them in case they're like, holy shit, like, I don't like you. Oh my God, that's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. You know, in case they, they think that way of you. Fuck it, like, just put it out there. You know, the only thing that's going to be hurt is your ego. So get over the ego and realize this isn't, you know, this shouldn't be a concern for you. It's better off to actually know where you stand and to be brave and to just fucking have a go. So this is definitely a lesson for me as well, you know, ask for what you want. I think I'm quite good at that. I'm quite good at asking, but at the same time, I do have some uncomfortable situations where I'm like, oh, I don't want to offend that person. Oh, I don't want to hear that, that reply from them, blah, 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 that sort of thing. But you know what? You just got to go for it at the end of the day, put it out there and, you know, just visualize the best result. Okay, so that's today's vlog. If you enjoy these vlogs, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, let me know about the green pots, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Keep it fresh. See you soon.